Good morning. You're listening to FloorDaily.net, and I'm Kemp Har. This morning, my guest is Natalie Jones, who's the Vice President of Marketing with Mannington Commercial. Natalie, how you doing? I'm great, Kemp. It's terrific to talk with you today. Yeah, you're already in Chicago, so it's just a couple more days before the show, and I like this opportunity to catch up with you. First, right off the bat, what's the weather looking like? What's it going to be like when we all get there on Sunday and Monday? When you get here on Sunday and Monday, it'll be in the 80s and probably sunny, but glad you're not here today. It's low 60s and raining. (laughs) Oh, it is. Okay. Well, what's going on at the Mart? Is there a lot of energy? Lots of contractors, lots of last-minute activity. Everybody's putting kind of the polishing touches on their showroom and their product, and the Mart is getting a fresh coat of paint, and everybody's going to have their best foot forward come Monday morning. And so you're still on the 10th floor, right? We are on the 10th floor directly off the showroom bank of elevators that were very easy to find. I know you've got multiple categories. Most people, just for background, know that Mannington Commercial is a almost 100-year-old privately owned company. And uniquely, not only do you make carpet, both bottom and modular, but you also have resilient LVT rubber. Yep. And you sell under the Amtico name, the Burke name, and the Mannington Commercial name, right? We do. And I think generally there's going to be a lot of exciting trends here in Chicago this year. So Natalie, what are you seeing from a trend perspective this year in flooring? I think in terms of bigger trends, we really are starting to see a bigger emphasis on larger scale patterns, Mm -hmm. on bold patterning, and also a lot of graphic elements. So I think that's one big trend you'll see in flooring here at the show. And then color, you know, we've seen a lot of brighter colors as people have become more optimistic about the rebound in the economy. But one overarching trend is that the work-life boundaries tend to be a bit more blurred now. And I think that's increasingly becoming the case. And with that, we're seeing a little more of a residential influence on the workspace. So with that, I think designers are starting to want to incorporate elements of comfort and having some really adaptable neutrals. So I think you'll see kind of a renewed emphasis on complex neutrals in addition to what we've been seeing with color the last few years. And we're expecting a great turnout for Neocon. I know last year the numbers were up with close to 50,000 attendees, and I think they're expecting even more this year. And just from the signs we've been seeing in the market since, gosh, late 2014, early 2015, I think that would back that up. Those firms are extremely busy. They can't hire people fast enough, so... A lot of positive indicators, and I think that's just going to translate into a really exciting, positive neocon. You know, we just wrapped up our June issue, which is going to be there at the, at the Mart. And we love doing that issue right before neocon because it gives us a, a bit of a flavor for how things are doing in the contract market. Our estimation is if you compare 14 to 13, the flooring sales in the contract market were up just under 5%. But a lot of people mentioned Mannington Commercial as growing a little faster than the market. So that's good to hear, isn't it? We're very pleased with the flooring business so far in 2015. We are up higher than 2014 year to date and expect that trend to continue. It's always fun to go to your space. It's not a huge space, so it's usually very crowded and you have a lot to show in there. Tell us a couple of the more exciting things that you're debuting at the show. Well, we've got a new carpet plank collection that we're launching called Traction Avenue. I think you know, and it's been evident the last few years, that the plank format is definitely a hot category, and we continue to see a lot of interest in that format. Now, you actually worked with the Shimoda Design Group on that product, didn't you? Exactly. So we were delighted to work with Joey Shimoda and his design team, not just because of their obvious talent, but they really pushed us this year. Um, It was strong emphasis on how we look at space and being able to look at space in creative new ways. So I think the end result is very exciting. It's a lot of modern graphics that are really versatile and could be used in bold combinations if you've got a big open area and really want to make a statement with the flooring, but they also work well in kind of quiet understatements. So if you're using them in a smaller space or private offices or narrow corridors, so a very flexible, adaptable collection. Now, I know you always have a collaboration, so that's the one with Shimoto Design Group. Are you also doing any uh, along the lines of textile design or design local thing that you were doing for a while? We do. We've got a new design local collection that we're going to be showcasing this year at Neocon. This year we put a little different spin on it. We took 
designers from their hometowns on the East Coast, and we took them to kind of an iconic southwestern city. We went to Tucson. So they had 24 hours to do a complete design immersion in an environment where they had never been before. So kind of looking at a local region with fresh eyes and seeing what kind of inspiration they were able to take away from that. It's a really interesting collection, very organic and natural based. And I think you'll see some of the iconic elements, the historic Presidio section of Tucson, as well as some of the natural vegetation like the cacti around the Tucson area. You'll see how that can be interpreted in a really interesting way into an organic flooring pattern. Okay, so isn't there an anthology product with Antico? There is. You know, I think LBT is going to be one of the hot trends at Neocon. You'll see a lot of new introductions in that particular category. For us this year, it's really been about making LBT adaptable to the space and creating a toolkit for the designers to be able to really personalize the flooring to the particular project. So, for example, with Anthology, people are familiar with LBT. Historically, it's been very difficult to do anything custom or if you want to play with color, that's been somewhat limiting. You've been locked into the running line standard colors. So with Anthology, we've got five new patterns. And they're very abstracted, fresh interpretations. They're not classic wood or stone visuals, but really looking to things like modern ECOT textures and trying to translate that into a floor pattern. The other really interesting thing with Anthology is the fact that you do have 16 running line colors that go with those five pattern visuals. But we also are offering a bank of 30 additional colors, and we may expand that by the time the product actually launches. So you'll be able to get any of the patterns in that wide bank of colors, which is something that hasn't been done in LBT. So I think designers will enjoy having that expanded capability. I need to call out real quickly. You know, Mannington Commercial produces its modular tile products in Calhoun, Georgia, and it produces all its LVT in Madison, Georgia. And, and those those two plants are only two hours apart. So it's easy for you to pull all this off, right? It is. Just having the LVT produced locally, mm-hmm. um, not importing products has really given us tremendous opportunity in that category with regard to not just technical things that we're able to do with the product, but also with the design, being able to fully design it here in the U.S. and manufacture it. Okay, Natalie, now for many years and throughout this dip in the economy, you've had kind of the party on a Monday night. You still having that? We are still having our party. We are looking forward to having a great crowd. Mm -hmm. It's at the Hubbard Inn, so it's just a short two-and-a-half block walk from the Mart. It's a good time to celebrate and connect with those friends that you may just see once a year here at Neocon. And time of that is right after the show, right? Yep. We like to kick it off at 5 o'clock, so if people just want to stop in and have a drink and then are heading out to dinner, it still gives them that opportunity to celebrate. Well, I look forward to seeing you on Monday. Again, and talking to Natalie Jones, Vice President of Marketing with Mannington Commercial from her space at the Merchandise Mart in Chicago. And you've been listening to Kempar and FordLA.net.